Hey, good morning. It is day 127, um, about 8 o'clock a.m., and I am in the Hiker's Welcome Hostel in Warren, New Hampshire. So I'm going to get back on trail here in a few minutes as I stretch out. Um, pretty good chance of rain today. I'm going to try to hump up and over uh, Musilaki, I think is how you say it, Musilaki, Mount Musilaki, and it's going to be a tough one. Um, short day, but it's going to be a very tough day. This is a serious, serious mountain. Uh, the first 4,000 foot mountain in in the whites um so trying to get up and over and into the next hostel and the at the next uh major road crossing so um yeah i i i i have a lot of dread a lot of dread for the day it'd be a nice like pack option but uh i'm gonna carry my pack so just a quick uh, overview of this hostel this is the upstairs and i stayed in that bed right there um, very standard bunk. Um, I mean, it, it was Midland for the price I paid. It was, uh, uh, it was, it was just okay. It's hot up here. No air conditioning. That was my, that's my biggest complaint. Uh, outdoor, outdoor bathroom facilities and stuff like that. Yeah. But anyway, mediocre. Bye. All right. It's just shy of 8.30 and, uh, leaving, uh, Hikers Welcome Hostel. So that's it. So that. Two different buildings. The separate building there is uh, it's got bunks at the top, and then the main building there. I also had bunks at the top. I was in the main building, but uh, yeah, it's just a little three tenths road walk here, and then I'll go uh, go right to get back on the trail and assault this mountain. Oh, and look who I ran into at the hostel last night. It is Will, aka Trash, Good to after see eons. You on the <laughs> yeah, I never thought I'd catch trash, but here I am, and he. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it was Tennessee, North Carolina, is when we last hiked together. So anyway, yeah, I was, uh, I was shocked to see him last night, and uh, happy to be hiking with him. Good Lord, people, that was about the most intense climb I've had so far, but. Uh, we are at the south peak of Mount Musa Musalaki. Uh, oh boy. So summit elevation is oh it's four oh it's, it's well over four thousand feet. Forty eight hundred oh two. Uh I did not realize that. Alright, so uh we still gotta make it to the the north summit. Yep. And that's uh What'd you say, Trash? Yeah, no, it's just telling me it's one mile and 350 more feet of elevation. One mile and 350 feet more elevation. So hopefully not so, so bad. Yeah, so here's our uh, first day in the whites above tree line, and we're walking through a rain cloud. Yeah, it's been sprinkling uh, off and on all day, and uh, there's just nothing to see here, but kind of get a taste for what the trail is going to be like uh, it's not treeless yet but just scrubby spruce all right now we're above tree line and above tree line you don't have white blazes you follow these carns these piles of rocks to stay on trail this is pretty cool though I mean I wish it was clear so we'd have a view but you can see we're just we are just socked in. I have made it to the summit. 4,802 feet. Woo! Again, I mean, there was nothing to see. But wow, the wind is a blow. And it is chilly. Let's see what this plaque says. Say hi, Trash. Hi, Trash. In memory of Dick Sanders, Dartmouth 29. All right, Beaver Brook Shelter coming down off of Musilaki, about halfway down, I'm guessing, give or take. It's there behind me. Just stopped in to sign the log book since it's close by. Uh, trash went on ahead. I had to adjust my pack, but uh, I'll catch them. There's a waterfall coming up, so it's to be a nice place to stop. Uh, continuing my uh, steep, rocky descent down the trail here. It's been following along this, uh, these constant cascades 
all the way down. Pretty nice. Oh yeah, it just gets nicer. Look at that. Doesn't that look like a fun ride? <laughs> Thank goodness someone put these blocks up here and anchored them into the uh, into the rock. Whew. This would be tough going. Well, I came out on the road at about 1:20, so I mean, I guess a good time. Um, it wasn't it wasn't going to be a, a big day mile-wise. I took a couple of spills. Well, the last spill was kind of bad. Um, Will is already gone. He's crossed the road and continued on. Um, this is where I need to get off to go to the hostel, and I made a mistake. There's no cell service here, so I'm at the mercy of hitching. I'm supposed to call a shuttle, a uh, five-dollar shuttle to get in and I'm I'm kinda I'm kinda screwed. So Alright, I am at the Notch Hostel. Alright, so uh here it is behind me. So I feel I feel pretty good about today. Uh you know it's only nine point three miles that I did. So technically by my definition it's it's a Nero. But um I started at what eight thirty I think and I got I got to Kinsman's Notch at um, before 2, uh, 1.30, 1.40, something like that. So it, it was a very tough, very tough trail. Um, and uh, I fell a couple times. Yeah, I didn't capture that on video, but uh, it, was, it was quite treacherous. Uh, and everybody said it's the most dangerous part of the trail that they've seen, and, and, uh, and, and, and I have to agree. So here's what I've decided to do. Um, had plenty of time to go through and eat, and there's a lot of this is an, this is an expensive hostel, but it's a nice hostel. So I had said that I would never slack pack. Uh, I'm going to slack pack tomorrow. Uh, 15, 15, 16 miles. I can't remember exactly from Kinsman's Notch to Franconia Notch, and come back here tomorrow night, tomorrow afternoon. So it's a free shuttle back to Kinsmas Notch in the morning, 7.30. And then um, I just have to figure out a way, once I get to Franconi Notch, how to get back here. But there's a, a lady that does shuttles for $5. Um, I actually hitched in here uh, from Kinsmas Notch uh, this afternoon. So uh, it took a little while, but, but I managed to get a hitch. So uh, I feel good about that. I mean, you know, even though I said I would never slight pack, I, I feel good about this decision. Um, I'm still with Wanderer, and then there's the two two ladies, um, Jetpack. Jetpack is uh, th they're both here, and uh, Wanderer was wanting to hook up with these two ladies because Jetpack is an accomplished hiker. She's finishing up the Triple Crown with this uh, AT through hike, but then she's been hiking with Hot Feet, who I've met a long time ago. Uh, we've we've been and out a little bit, but Hot Feet has been, I think she's from this area, but she's she's hiked the Whites before. So she's got the five days planned out, and uh, Wonder and I are going to stick with them pretty much, and uh, and I, I'm good with that. Now they're staying in a hut, a $150 hut, tomorrow. I'm slack packing, so I'm going to go quite a ways beyond that and come on into Franconia Notch and come back here to this hostel. But then we'll get back up to Franconia Notch about the same time. Maybe I might even get there earlier, and and meet. Not to say, uh, uh, so today's Wednesday, so Thursday night, I'll be back here. Friday night, they've got reservations at the Galehead Hut, so they're staying in huts two nights in a row. I'm going to stay at that hut also. So, um, without going into a lot of detail, pretty much the next five days to get through the whites is planned out, and, and I feel good about it. Um, the anxiety is gone, and uh, I, 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 I know what my options are to a T, actually, for the next couple of days, anyhow. Um, what else? I think that's about it. Uh, I'm gonna spin this camera around, maybe do some quick shots of the inside, and uh, then I'm gonna spend, this about 5.30 right now, almost six. I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening compiling some videos and uh, catching up on that. All right. All right, so this is a, an old farmhouse, and they have a strict policy of no packs, no shoes in there, and, and it's clean because of that. So, you know, it's, it's kind of irritating at first, but you get to appreciate it. And here, this little outbuilding is where we have to store our packs and shoes. 
But uh, big tenting area. Yeah, so this is the main office. You get your bath towels and and uh, just just very neatly organized. Um, uh, you get your uh, loaner clothes here. You know, hiker laundry, clean laundry gets picked up there. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Declan there is one of the staff. So here's the kitchen area, and we get uh, pretty much all you can eat pancakes. You know, they got nice big common area here. This is just this is just the second floor. There's the third floor. So here's the third floor, and uh, Kinsman and Franconia bunk rooms. I'm in the Franconia room. And uh, unfortunately, I got a top bunk this time, but there it is. So yeah, at first I was like, uh, you know, this hostel's too expensive. They got too many rules, yada, yada, yada. But uh, I quickly warmed up to it. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so I, I'm staying here two nights, two nights in a row, and slack packing in between. So <laughs> looking forward to it, actually, too. That's it. Uh, this is Wagner von Bunderbeg. Good night.